Put your cock on what? For some reason, I thought we would call off the window edge and then put the, the, the gasket on it. I don't know We're why. talking about cock with an L. I have some over there. I have, uh, for some reason, the uh, the black cock is bigger than the white cock. I, I don't know. Um, all right, so here we go. Uh, doing more updates on the DeLorean time machine. We're getting the flux bands built and uh, talking about the new iPhone. He doesn't want one. Probably not going to get a new iPhone. <laughs> nope. He's an Android user. <laughs> the, it, what EJ, the reason he gets excited about a new iPhone is that means the old ones are going to go on sale. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we uh, last time we were here, we were showing uh, the Flux boxes. Now we're getting to the flux bands, and, and any time machine builder will tell you that these are one of the hardest things you can do because they have to run in exact parallel to each other. And um, it's just a subtle art of, of manipulating the metal so that, you know, you get a nice curvature. You know, we have some, we have some photos to reference here. And um, now Fry over here is working on some some rubber we basically take a little rubber door seal and we put it in this back window here as a little extra padding and then put the window in You've, he's already cut the we call it a window but it's a metal plate and then um it's a subtle art there's no way to mechanica uh, mechanize is the word i was looking for what are you drinking over here what is this some kind of energy drink Good it's, good, it's good for your energy drink. And uh, Cole, wherever he went, he's he's working on, we're, we're working on trying to do this uh, steering column still. And the issue is that um, I want to remove the steering wheel off the old column. And the traditional steering wheel puller just isn't working and fitting. So he's trying to fabricate a custom steering wheel puller for this. We're gonna have to pull all this electrical and all this stuff off of the column when we change it. So there's a lot going on in here. Um, and also we're going to install a door popper for the trunk. So we're gonna attach the solenoid to this to open the trunk and hook it up to a remote. That'll be neat. So, that's what's happening. Why can't you use the one that you bought from that from Harbor Freight? Uh, the uh, the size of it is too large to fit in the middle hub of the steering wheel. It's got a small hole. Yeah, hole is real small. All right. There we go. Just had a slight bit of a. Uh, Press fit. There we have it. It's loose. There we go. Here's this back window I was discussing. It's just a metal cover. Now I've seen other people make like one piece versions of these, but the two piece thing just works. The RoboCop car has been sold. So you can go back and look at some of my old videos about this, the RoboCop car. It's going to a cool crime museum in Minneapolis to a previous customer. Bought one of my time machines before. So that's, it's gonna be picked up soon. And we're working on the Knight Rider 4000 car. Omar's been working on that. Uh, let's go check it out. We'll go over there and take a look at it. The 
This car, I uh, did a couple of videos about it. It's the Night Industries 4000 uh, from the movie Night Rider 2000. Sorry, it's windy out here. And it had a crash nose and our, our dude Omar has been working on trying to get it fixed here. And uh, we still got a, a little bit of sculpting to do. Um, but we'll eventually get it to a point where we'll be able to paint it and we're gonna probably sell this car. I'd kind of like to get rid of it before I go to Vegas. Um, that would be cool. So, just something I'm working on. Hi. It's windy out here. How are you? Hi. She's running away. Yeah. Cat is finicky. A couple of days ago, we listed this thing for sale. And uh, I think it's already sold. Got a customer in Germany who uh, wants the car. And um, he's getting his Dutch marks together, sending me a deposit. So it looks like this car will probably be sold by the time this video comes out. And uh, this, this time machine will be on its way to Deutschland. So, um, this will be out in Europe, I guess. Look for it out there. Uh, I don't know if it's 100% sold yet. I gotta go check my bank account, see if it's <laughs> see if it's changed. But this is what happens, you know. It's gonna be tough to move a lot of the stuff to Vegas. Like, for instance, our my tow motor forklift. This thing's like from the 40s. It weighs over 7,000 pounds. And I'm not getting rid of it because we need it. And I'm like, dude, this thing's gonna have to take up an entire trailer all by itself. Even though it's not that big, the weight. I mean, because here's the deal. <laughs> this solid cast iron forklift weighs as much as this Rolls Royce. Like, what? Okay guys, it's kind of a short one today, you know. I have to fill time where I can, but I promise I do these every day so you can kind of watch what we're doing on the car. So I'll, I'll try not to, uh, to put in too much filler. You just do a quick little video. Here's a bunch of my uh, Halloween stuff. I'm trying to get rid of a bunch of my Halloween stuff, so I'm gonna be putting this stuff on Marketplace. <laughs> anyway, we're working on this stuff every day. Uh, it takes anywhere from two weeks to a month to build a time machine, depending on what we have available. And also depends on how hard we're working on it. So I'll try to fill you guys in and, and retroactively, I think I'll probably, um, you know, cause there's a lot of stuff I know we're glazing over parts that are already made and I'll keep adding on to this series. Even after we built the car, when we're building other cars and we'll just keep doing this for a long time. And whenever we're making a new part, I'll list it. So, so if you feel like we're glazing over a lot of stuff, subscribe anyway, and stay tuned because we're going to come back. We're going to, we're going to circle around back to a lot of parts in the future. We're gonna be doing this for a long time. I mean, hey, we're, we're, this is our 35th car. So this, it's not the end. Stay tuned, guys.